Hello and welcome. This is Africa in 10 Minutes, where we bring to you the top business news in Africa. Courtesy Footprint to Africa. I am Mirabel Aliladia. Here are the headlines. German Development Bank pledges 32.9 million euros funding for renewable energy projects in Africa. Ghana Central Bank to reduce lending rates. African policymakers set to address continent and cultural transformation potential at Cote d'Ivoire Forum. Africa focused renewable energy firm Uncharted Play rebrands to Uncharted Power. Lagos State holds A Plus Meets Business Lagos Corporate Assembly. Now the news in detail. The German Development Bank and the African Trade Insurance Agency, ATI, have unveiled a 32.9 million euro to support renewable energy projects that target small and mid scale up to 50 megawatts green power renewable energy projects in Sub-Sahara Africa. The facility is designed to provide a viable solution to one of the biggest challenges facing independent power producers, IPPs, operating in Africa, specifically the requirement to provide project lenders with a liquidity guarantee. The German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, through KFW, will provide funding of up to 32.9 million euros to the facility which aims to enable small and mid-scale renewable energy projects in Africa to reach financial close by addressing liquidity requirements that lenders frequently require in order to fund such projects. The report further stated that the launch of the new facility is happening at an opportune moment when emerging markets are seeing record investment in the renewable energy sector. It stated that an international energy agency, IEA, expects Sub-Saharan Africa's renewable capacity to grow by 73% over the period of 2017 to 2022. Ghana's central bank has assured businesses of its commitment to reduce its lending rates for commercial banks in the country. According to the first deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Maxwell Poku Afari, the bank is undertaking measures which are expected to prompt a further drop in the lending rates of commercial banks to their customers. The central bank is hopeful that the measures will also reduce the cost of doing business in Ghana. The Bank of Ghana's Monetary Policy Committee has lowered the policy rate by 450 basis points to 21% and beginning Wednesday, the MPC is meeting again to assess recent development. After the cumulative 150 basis points lowering, we have seen lending rates come down by 150 basis points. But this is less than what we expected, so more will be done to reduce the lending rates, he noted. The meeting is among to assess the health of the economy in the light of interventions put in place by the central bank to stabilize the local economy. The meeting will culminate in the announcement of a policy rate on Monday, November 27, 2017. Dr. Opoku Afari, who was speaking at a gathering of business executives at an SME CEO summit in Accra, however, maintained that the decision will be carried out where conditions permit. He also believes that the implementation of the plan should propel the growth of the Ghanaian economy. High-level officials from across African continent and private sector stakeholders are set to chart an actionable plan aimed at accelerating the region's agricultural transformation at an event dubbed the Leadership for Agriculture L4AG Forum. The affair, which was organized by the African Development Bank in collaboration with the Humanitarian Groups, Initiative for Global Development, IGD, and Grow Africa, is the first high-level meeting of its kind and will be held on November 28th at the African Development Headquarters in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. The invitation-only L4AG Forum will assemble influential leaders, ensuring dialogue, advocacy, and policy action to drive Africa's agricultural transformation. The event comes at a time when Africa's agriculture sector is projected to create 1 trillion US dollars by 2030. The African Development Bank states that despite the tremendous potential, total investment in the sector falls short of levels required to deliver fundamental change fuel agricultural transformation. According to the African Development Bank, between $315 billion and $400 billion is required over the next 10 years to transform strategic agricultural value chains. Constraints to the development of the agribusiness sector in Africa include low yield and unsupportive enabling environment, insecure land tenure, insufficient or inadequate hard and soft infrastructure, poorly developed map linkages, 
limited value added processing capacity, high post harvest losses, insufficient inclusion of youth and women, and limited access to technologies, information, skills, and finance. Guided by the recent findings from the World Bank's 2017 Enabling the Business of Agriculture report and the 2017 Africa Transformation Reports by the African Centre for Economic Transformation, ACET, the L4AG Forum will focus on harnessing agriculture and agribusinesses as an engine of economic transformation in Africa. Uncharted Play, the renewable energy company known for its flagship product, The Socket, announced that it has officially changed its name to Uncharted Power. The change reflects the economy shift from a renewable energy sports company to a power utility company focused on using the proprietary technology to harness untapped kinetic energy to power companies around the world. For the past year, Uncharted Power has been developing its micro-generation system, MORE, motion-based off-grid renewable energy that harnesses energy from motion. More can be fully integrated into anything that moves, from speed bumps to strollers. In infrastructure, more can be used to generate energy from vehicles and people driving and walking over them. When installed, Uncharted Power's More solutions provide a source of clean, consistent and cost-efficient power for communities, large facilities and the Internet of Things. We are redefining the way people think about a power company. We have spent two years developing technology that gives everyday people doing everyday things a role in creating the energy they need for the world they want, says founder and CEO Jessica O. Matthews. While the company has already successfully incorporated more into consumer products, Uncharted Power is largely focused on infrastructural integrations of its core technology. The company plans on publicly launching pilot installations of their power solutions in early 2018. Lagos State recently hosted the A Plus Meets Business Corporate Assembly where issues regarding infrastructural development were discussed. The Executive Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Akiwumi Ambode, in his address to the Assembly said the Lagos Light Rail will be operational by December. He also called for the structuring of the call-up system for tankers and containerized trucks, asserting that this would amount to measurable steps to eliminate the Apapa traffic gridlock. He said while the plan to repair major roads in Napapa is laudable, concerted efforts must be equally put in place to address the issues that gave rise to the crisis. The second edition of Lagos Corporate Assembly, tagged A Plus Meets Business, was organized by the state government to interact with members of the organized private sector as well as small and medium scale enterprises. That sums the news for the week. Sit back for the recap. German Development Bank pledges 32.9 million euros funding for renewable energy projects in Africa. Ghana Central Bank to reduce lending rates. African policymakers set to address continent agricultural transformation potential at Cote d'Ivoire Forum. Africa focused renewable energy firm Uncharted Play rebrands to Uncharted Power. Lagos State holds A Plus Meets Business Lagos Corporate Assembly. To keep up with the trending business news in Africa, stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on LinkedIn. This news and reports are called from Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, log on to www.footprintafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa, business news made in Africa by Africa.